The American family's back here at home with so many questions. What a team of explorers just found. Over 7,000 islands which were previously not accounted for. The country which has hit the treasure is Japan. Japan, a nation steeped in a rich tapestry of culture and history, never ceases to amaze with its treasure trove of intriguing traditions and customs. In this ancient and renowned land, a Navy submarine missing for 75 years has been found off Okinawa, Japan. A constant stream of mysteries continues to captivate our imaginations, revealing an assortment of remarkable findings that span the spectrum from age-old relics to cutting-edge innovations. So get ready for an exciting journey as we dive into the 20 most extraordinary and captivating discoveries recently unearthed in Japan. Number 20. Japan's Mysterious Pyramids In the year 1987, a local diver with a sense of adventure set out to explore the depths of the southern Ryukyu Islands in Japan. What they discovered was nothing short of astonishing. A meticulously carved set of steps, their edges so perfectly straight, hidden beneath the waves at a depth of 25 meters. This submerged marvel, now famously known as the Yanaguni Monument, spans an impressive 50 meters in length and 20 meters in width, securing its place as one of the planet's most remarkable wonders. The monument takes on the appearance of a rectangular structure with pyramid-like layers stacked atop one another. Many experts estimate its age to be over 10,000 years, sparking intriguing theories of it being a relic from a lost civilization that once thrived in the vast Pacific. Some even speculate that the ancient Jomon people, inhabitants of these islands around 12,000 BC, might have played a role in its creation. What adds to the intrigue is the uncanny resemblance between this underwater formation and natural structures found worldwide, featuring well-defined edges and flat surfaces. Consider, for instance, the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, where interlocking basalt columns bear witness to a volcanic eruption that occurred millions of years ago. While the Yonaguni Monument boasts narrow passages, arched entrances, and what appears to be precise right angles, the prevailing consensus leans towards a natural origin, especially when considering its connection to a larger rock mass. It's believed that the distinctive layers at the site gradually formed over time, shaped by the frequent seismic activity typical of the region. The mysteries of this underwater wonder continue to captivate curious minds across the globe. Underwater structure, known as Yonaguni, really be the remnants of an advanced civilization. Number 19. Submarine Missing for 75 Years a long-lost American submarine, the USS Greyback, disappears in the depths of the East China Sea after a Japanese aircraft attack near Okinawa during World War II. For decades, it remains shrouded in mystery. Then, a group of determined explorers embarks on an underwater quest, armed with military documents that hold the secret to its whereabouts. But here's the twist. An initial translation error in the coordinates leads to a failed attempt, heightening the suspense. However, perseverance pays off as the team finally deciphers the correct location, revealing the resting place of the USS Greyback, a discovery that sends ripples of closure to the families of the 80 brave crew members who served aboard this vessel. For individuals like Kathy Taylor, who had an uncle, John Patrick King, on that fateful mission. We haven't broadcast this, and we wanted to be the first ones to tell you this is the Greyback. Oh. This revelation brings a profound sense of resolution. This remarkable mission is part of the Lost 52 Project, a dedicated initiative aimed at finding lost U.S. submarines from World War II. In this extraordinary tale, a tiny translation error in the original Japanese mission logs, a mere missing digit, resulted in a discrepancy spanning hundreds of kilometers. With the aid of cutting-edge drone technology and the retrieval of crucial military documents, the team successfully pinpointed the submarine's precise location, resting peacefully 430 meters beneath the sea's surface. Number 18. 7,000 New Islands In a remarkable twist, Japan's island count is about to receive a substantial upgrade with the discovery of a staggering 7,000 previously unknown islands. You see, back in 1987, the Japan Coast Guard conducted a study and reported that Japan had a total of 6,852 islands. But here's where it gets interesting. During a parliamentary session in December 2021, a lawmaker raised doubts about this outdated data suggesting that the actual number could be vastly different. Why the skepticism? Well, the 1987 study relied on rather primitive technology, 
involving manual listing of islands with a circumference of at least 100 meters. It often struggled to distinguish clusters of small islands, considering them as a single landmass. This led to the omission of numerous islands, including those nestled within lakes or rivers. And speaking of rivers, here's the Kicker River sandbanks, which were previously not counted as islands, are now recognized as such by the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. But there's more. Over the past 35 years, Mother Nature has been busy, with new islands emerging due to volcanic activity. So how did they set the record straight? Geographers teamed up with cutting-edge mapping technology and cross-referenced their findings with older aerial photographs. Islands with a circumference of less than 100 meters didn't make the cut. With this updated count, Japan's geography is in for a transformation, and it's set to make waves on the global stage. Number 17. Japan's Mysterious Keyhole Tombs Kofun, those ancient burial mounds adorned with their distinctive keyhole shapes, can be found scattered across Japan, like echoes of a distant past. These remarkable structures come in various sizes, ranging from just a few meters in length to colossal mounds stretching over 400 meters. Among these historical treasures, the Daisen Kofun stands out as the largest Kofun known to humanity. Nestled in Sakai City, Osaka, this mammoth mound is believed to have been constructed in honor of Emperor Nintoku during the mid-5th century, a colossal undertaking that spanned nearly two decades. The significance of this Kofun is underscored by its recent designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In Japan, Kofun trace their origins to a historical period that spans from the early 3rd century to the 7th century. These ancient burial mounds remain shrouded in mystery, continuing to captivate archaeologists and researchers alike. The Daisen Kofun, once the resting place for over a hundred tombs, has gradually diminished in size over the centuries. Hiroshi Kaibi, a dedicated researcher, has emphasized its grandeur, noting that in terms of surface area, it even surpasses the Egyptian pyramids. Number 16. 1,500-year-old sword. Deep in the heart of Nara, at the Tomio Maruyama burial site, Japan has unveiled two magnificent national treasures, discovered just last November. These astonishing finds include none other than the largest bronze mirror ever to grace the world's stage and a jaw-dropping 2.3-meter-long taco iron sword. But let's dive deeper into the tale, shall we? A shield-shaped mirror, unlike anything you've seen before, beckoning you to unlock its secrets. On a crisp January 25th, the Nara Municipal Buried Cultural Properties Research Center and the Nara Prefectural Archaeological Institute of Kashihara decided it was high time to unveil these archaeological wonders to the world. Now that sword, it's not your run-of-the-mill blade. This iron giant boasts a distinctively curved form, a real head-turner. But what truly sets it apart is the fact that it's the granddaddy of all East Asian iron swords from its era. And if you thought that was impressive, wait until you feast your eyes on the mirror's surface, adorned with intricate patterns, reminiscent of the legendary Daru mirrors mostly discovered in Western Japan. While your typical archaeological bronze mirrors are as round as a sumo wrestler's belly, this one, it dares to be different with its shield-like design. And speaking of being unique, the Taco Sword doesn't shy away from standing out with its wavy, snake-like appearance. What's more, this particular sword is the oldest of its kind known to mankind. As if that wasn't intriguing enough, there are over 80 more taco swords scattered across Japan, often found in burial sites. It's believed these swords hold a mystical connection to forces that govern those who dare to defy societal norms. Number 15. Mysterious Sphere a mysterious metal sphere from the depths of the ocean was washed up on a tranquil Japanese beach. The news sent shockwaves through the local community and piqued the world's curiosity. This strange artifact swiftly garnered nicknames like the Godzilla Egg and Mooring Buoy, and even triggered wild theories about its extraterrestrial origins. But here's where it gets really intriguing. A vigilant local resident stumbled upon this bizarre object and, with a sense of urgency, reported their find to the authorities. What followed was straight out of a blockbuster movie. The police sprung into action, deploying a bomb squad to the scene. As they sealed off the area and carefully conducted X-ray examinations, the entire nation held its breath in suspense. And yet, despite the high drama, the official information has been shrouded in mystery, leaving us all to wonder, what secrets does this metallic sphere hold, and why the veil of secrecy? The public's insatiable curiosity and the sphere's potential significance only deepen the intrigue surrounding this captivating discovery. Number 14. 
human bones at historical graves. A team of archaeologists in Japan unearths a treasure trove of secrets hidden beneath the soil for over a century and a half. City officials have just dropped a bombshell announcement, revealing the discovery of not just a few, but a whopping 1,500 human bones. Yes, you heard that right. This archaeological site, known as the Umeda tomb, is like a time capsule, taking us back a whole 160 years to the late Edo and early Meiji eras, a fascinating period in Japan's history. It's one of seven historical grave sites, each holding stories of lives long gone. But that's not all. This excavation has unveiled more than just bones. It's a journey into the past. Alongside those human remains, the team has stumbled upon 350 smaller burials and the bones of various animals, including piglets, horses, and cats. It's like a puzzle waiting to be solved. Now here's where it gets really intriguing. These individuals weren't just any folks. They were locals from the Osaka Castle Town area. Many of them meet their maker in their 30s or even younger. And there's a twist. Some showed signs of illness on their hands and feet. Could it be a clue to an epidemic that swept through their lives? Number 13. Rare Earth Elements Researchers have made a groundbreaking discovery of critical rare earth metals beneath the waters of Japan, estimated to hold enough resources to meet global demand for centuries, essentially creating an almost limitless supply. These minerals are located near Minamitorishima Island in the Pacific Ocean, covering an approximate area of 2,499.34 square kilometers, situated about 1,851 kilometers southeast of Tokyo. Rare earth materials are vital for manufacturing high-tech products like batteries, mobile phones, and electric cars. Traditionally, China has been the world's primary supplier of rare earth elements. There are over 16 billion kilograms of rare earth oxides stored on the ocean floor, equivalent to 780 years worth of atrium, 620 years of europium, 4,420 years of terbium, and 730 years of dysprosium supply. Following a disagreement with China in 2010, Japan initiated efforts to secure its own rare earth metal supply. This dispute arose due to conflicting claims over certain islands, and since Japan heavily relies on rare earths for its electronics manufacturing, it sought alternative sources. However, extracting these metals from the ocean floor is an expensive undertaking. A consortium of businesses, organizations, and scholars, supported by the Japanese government, plans to conduct a feasibility test within the next five years to assess the viability of this significant resource. Number 12. Japanese Domestic Market Cars of the Fukushima in the process of exporting a vehicle from Japan, strict radiation safety standards must be met to ensure these vehicles don't become radioactive through exposure. Japan's customs authorities impose stringent requirements, with exported cars required to emit radiation levels below a specific threshold, which is set at 0.3 microsieverts. It's important to highlight instances where vehicles have exceeded this radiation limit. Following the Fukushima disaster in 2011, there were reports of radioactive cars being abandoned in various countries. Shockingly, some of these vehicles emitted radiation levels as high as 110 microsieverts per hour. Furthermore, the concerns surrounding these vehicles extend beyond radiation alone. Over time, exposure to radiation can result in materials becoming tougher, yet more brittle, leading to structural issues like cracks, surface alterations, and deformations. While urban explorers have ventured into abandoned cars in Fukushima, it's imperative to consider the long-term impact of radiation on these vehicles. Despite their initial allure, these cars may ultimately suffer from structural problems beyond the scope of rust, making their future prospects uncertain. Number 11. Biotech firm uses roundworms. For a long time, scientists have been aware of the distinct smell of body fluids in cancer patients compared to those of healthy individuals. In a fascinating development, Hiratsu Biosciences has genetically modified a specific type of worm called C. elegans, which are about one millimeter in length and possess a highly developed sense of smell. These genetically altered worms can now respond to the urine of individuals with pancreatic cancer. 
Detecting pancreatic cancer early is particularly challenging, which makes this scientific breakthrough significant. CEO Takaki Hiratsu, a former academic specializing in nematode studies, emphasized the importance of this technological advancement. The Tokyo-based firm has already used these worms in screening tests to detect cancer, although they haven't specified the specific type of cancer they detected. It's important to note that this new test is not meant for diagnosing pancreatic cancer specifically. However, it allows people to collect urine samples at home, eliminating the need for a hospital visit. This innovation has the potential to improve routine screening, especially in a time when pandemic-related factors have led to a decline in screening rates in Japan and many other countries. Even before the pandemic, Japanese patients had lower attendance rates for cancer screenings compared to their counterparts in developed countries, as per OECD data. Number 10. New Species of Orchid Discovery the newly discovered flower closely resembles a related orchid species commonly found in Japan and often in close proximity to its populations. Scientists, in their report published in the Journal of Plant Research, underscore the significance of this discovery, serving as a reminder that unknown species can be found right in our midst. Justin Conrad, the leading horticulturist for the Smithsonian Gardens Orchid Collection, highlights the remarkable diversity within the orchid family and underscores how recent findings, like the Speranthes orchid, reinforce the importance of studying and conserving these precious botanical treasures. Orchids belonging to the Speranthes genus are colloquially known as ladies' tresses, due to their appearance resembling wavy locks of hair. These plants boast a central stem adorned with a spiral arrangement of small bell-shaped flowers, which can display a variety of colors such as white, pink, purple, and yellow. The study reveals the existence of approximately 50 Speranthus species distributed across Eurasia, Australia, and the Americas, typically thriving in temperate or tropical regions. While this particular floral newcomer has been known in Japan for centuries, its discovery in Tokyo Prefecture near Hachijo Island led to its christening as Speranthes hachijoensis. Prior to this revelation, Japan had identified three Speranthes orchid species, S. australis, S. sinensis, and S. hongkongensis. Number 9. Prehistoric Shark Found in Japan In a remarkable feat, Employees at a marine park in Japan have achieved a scientific milestone by capturing rare footage of a shark species that is a true enigma of the deep sea. These elusive sharks inhabit the ocean's depths, plunging to at least 600 meters below the surface, making them mysterious creatures that rarely grace the eyes of humans in their natural habitat. The extraordinary journey began when an observant fisherman near Awashima Marine Park in Shizuoka, situated to the south of Tokyo, reported an extraordinary sight, an eel-like creature adorned with a menacing mouth filled with needle-sharp teeth. Prompted by this remarkable sighting, the dedicated staff members at the marine park embarked on a mission of discovery, determined to capture this elusive entity. Their efforts paid off when they successfully retrieved a female frilled shark, measuring approximately 1.6 meters in length. This particular shark species is often referred to as a living fossil, due to its possession of primitive characteristics and its remarkable resemblance to its prehistoric ancestors. What makes this creature even more astonishing is its relative lack of evolutionary change since ancient times, a testament to its enduring existence through the epochs of Earth's history. To further enhance the intrigue, this unique specimen was found to be in less than ideal health when transferred from a freshwater tank to a saltwater environment. This unexpected condition offered a rare and invaluable opportunity to document the shark's graceful swimming and the truly astonishing sight of its jaws parting wide open. Number 8. New Non-Photosynthesizing Plants In the realm of botany, certain plant species have transcended their reliance on photosynthesis as a source of nutrition, establishing a symbiotic rapport with fungi, including molds and mushrooms. These botanical marvels, denoted as mycoheterotrophs or microphytes, extract their nourishment from these fungi via their roots, particularly during the phases of flowering or fruit bearing. What sets these plants apart is their periodic emergence above the soil's surface, rendering their detection and categorization a formidable task due to their ephemeral blooming periods and diminutive statures. While the knowledge of many surface-dwelling plant species is well-documented, mycoheterotrophs remain a captivating enigma, 
Professor Swetsugu is presently dedicated to cataloging the distribution and taxonomy of mycoheterotrophic plants in Japan. A significant breakthrough occurred in October 2016 when Mr. Nishioko Tatsuki, collaborating with Professor Swetsugu from Kyoto University's Faculty of Agriculture, stumbled upon an uncharted microheterotroph near Mount Omoto on Ishigaki Island. Professor Swetsugu delved into a thorough examination of the plant's morphological attributes, disclosing that this newfound species shares a close kinship with Skyaphila nana. Nevertheless, a remarkable distinction emerges in the configuration of the male flower's head. Unlike S. nana, which bears three spherical nubs, this novel species boasts six nubs. In honor of Mr. Sugimoto Takayomi from Kyushu University's Graduate School of Biorec and Bioenvironmental Sciences, whose specimen collection was instrumental in the species identification, the newfound plant species has been christened S.T. Sugimoto. S.T. Sugimoto attains a stature of 5 to 10 centimeters above the ground and graces the world with its exquisite violet blossoms, measuring a mere 2 millimeters in diameter. Number 7. Deepest Fish Ever Recorded Researchers have achieved a groundbreaking feat by capturing video footage of a fish at a record-breaking depth of over 8,047 meters beneath the ocean's surface. This achievement sets a new record for the deepest fish ever observed. The fish in question is a juvenile Pseudoliparis snailfish, although its exact species is still under investigation. The remarkable video footage was obtained in the Izu Ogasawara Trench, located in the Western Pacific Ocean south of Japan. This endeavor is a crucial part of a decade-long research project dedicated to uncovering the mysteries of the world's deepest waterfish populations. The study encompasses the Ryukyu, Izu Ogasawara, and Japan trenches. The captivating video, shared by the University of Western Australia, showcases a solitary snailfish gracefully navigating these profound depths, accompanied by other fish species feeding at slightly shallower levels. This discovery is a testament to the dedication and scientific expertise of researchers from the Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology and the University of Western Australia. Their unwavering commitment to exploration and understanding has significantly enhanced our knowledge of the mysterious ecosystems in the deep oceans of our planet. Number 6. Rare Demon Fireworms In Japan, an enthralling discovery has unfolded, revealing three new species of rare bioluminescent worms that bear a remarkable resemblance to creatures often featured in yokai folklore. Japan's tales of supernatural demons and spirits. These recently unveiled species, denoted as Polycyrus onabi, Polycyrus oenden, and Polycyrus ikikuchi, are part of the bristleworm family. They are typically found in Japan's shallow rivers and streams, casting an eerie blue and purple glow reminiscent of the mythical will o' the wisp during nocturnal hours. These names draw inspiration from Japanese folklore. Onabi alludes to a demon fire yokai, a floating ball of light known for leading unsuspecting travelers astray in remote mountains and forests. Ikaguchi, conversely, pays tribute to the former director of the Notojima Aquarium, a key figure in the discovery of these intriguing worms. The name Polycyrus itself originates from the tentacles that protrude from these worms' mouths, facilitating their quest for sustenance by sifting through sediment in riverbeds. This genus belongs to the broader family of polycates, or bristle worms, and boasts an astonishing history, with an existence spanning at least 505 million years, surviving all five of Earth's major extinction events. Before we move on, here is today's subscriber's pick. Hey there, curious minds. Prepare to have your minds blown by the rock ship of Masuda. It's like a spaceship from another dimension landed in the middle of a bamboo forest in Japan. Nobody really knows why it's there or how it got there, but one thing's for sure, those smooth surfaces and funky angles have defied the test of time for centuries. We're talking ancient artistry here, folks. There's not a ton of info in English about this mysterious marvel, but it's conveniently located just a 15-minute stroll from Okadera Station. And get this, it's adorned with intricately carved granite stones that depict people and animals. These stone wonders are believed to date back to the 7th century, but who's keeping track of time, right? So, fellow explorers, what do you think this rock ship story is? Drop your theories in the comments below and let's embark on a journey of discovery together. Number 5. Rare Species of Japanese Salmon in a fascinating turn of events reported by a science professor, a stunning rediscovery has unfolded near Mount Fuji. The Black Kokanee, also known as Kunimasu, 
a Japanese salmon species that had seemingly vanished for 70 years, has made a triumphant return. This disappearance, dating back to 1940, was attributed to changes in the lake's acidity, stemming from a hydropower project in northern Akita Prefecture. What adds to the astonishment is the fact that around 100,000 eggs from this salmon species were translocated to Lake Saiko prior to their extinction. Nevertheless, many believe that this species had been lost to history. Professor Tetsuji Nakabo, alongside his Kyoto University team, unveiled this extraordinary revival in Lake Saiko, located approximately 500 kilometers to the south of the salmon's native habitat. Nakabo underscores the vital importance of safeguarding the current environment of Lake Saiko, now home to sufficient kunimasu for the species to flourish once again. He also expresses the hope that fishermen will show restraint in catching these salmon. Despite this remarkable rediscovery, the salmon retains its official extinct status. An official from the ministry clarified that Nakabo's findings would undergo rigorous examination before the scheduled records update in 2012. Number 4. Scientists Discover New Giant Fish In a recent and enthralling expedition off the coast of Shizuoka Prefecture, a dedicated team of researchers, including experts from the Japan Agency and several universities, embarked on a quest that led to a remarkable discovery. As they delved into the depths of Suruga Bay, a location known for its staggering depth of over 2,000 meters, they unveiled a treasure trove of four previously unidentified fish species. Among these intriguing findings was an exceptional specimen, a colossal fish weighing a remarkable 25 kilograms and extending an impressive 1.4 meters in length. What truly distinguishes this newfound species is not only its extraordinary size, but also its role as a top-tier predator within the intricate deep-sea ecosystem of the bay. In recognition of this unique status, the researchers decided to christen it with the name Yokozuna Iwashi in Japanese, drawing inspiration from the prestigious rank in sumo wrestling, known as Sektori, which is reserved for the sport's most elite practitioners. An important distinction to make is that these remarkable fish are categorized as slickheads, primarily due to the absence of scales on their heads. This distinct feature sets them apart from their edible counterparts like the Japanese pilchard or anchovy. This breathtaking discovery offers an intriguing glimpse into the diverse and enigmatic tapestry of marine life, flourishing in the profound depths of our Earth's oceans. Number 3. Crows Mysteriously Gather on Island in the picturesque region of Honshu, Japan, a remarkable spectacle unfolded as a sizable flock of crows graced the skies with their elegant flight before descending onto the streets of a charming island near Kyoto. This enchanting avian display captured the attention of onlookers and added a touch of natural wonder to the tranquil surroundings. However, the intrigue didn't end there. Thousands of miles away, in Turkey, a video emerged, purportedly filmed just moments before a recent earthquake struck. In this footage, a captivating assembly of birds engaged in animated chatter while gracefully circling the heavens. The juxtaposition of this unique avian behavior against the backdrop of the earthquake-stricken region created a striking contrast that swiftly garnered global attention. Meanwhile, in Inner Mongolia, North China, a rather perplexing phenomenon took place in November 2022. A group of sheep displayed an intriguing and remarkably persistent behavior by continuously traversing circular paths for more than 10 consecutive days on a local farm. This footage made its rounds on various social media platforms, sparking significant curiosity about the underlying cause of this intriguing animal conduct. Number 2. Rare 3-Meter Giant Squid The coastal stretch of Ugu Beach in Obama, Fukui Prefecture recently witnessed an extraordinary event, a colossal squid stranded on the shore. The global news agency, AFP, shared a video on Twitter, revealing a squid of enormous proportions, measuring almost 3 meters in length and weighing 80 kilograms. Such encounters with massive squids on land are exceedingly rare, as they usually reside in the ocean's deepest, darkest realms. According to a report from the Olawa municipal government, featured in the Japanese newspaper Mainichi, the squid was found alive and in relatively good health. It was carefully relocated from its original location to a more suitable habitat, the Echizen Matsushima Aquarium in Sakai. The report also included a video showcasing the creature's remarkable size. Giant squids are known for their mysterious nature and prefer the profound depths of the ocean, 
where they navigate with grace. They hold the distinction of being the largest known members of their kind, with the potential to reach lengths of up to 13 meters. However, what sets them apart from many marine creatures is their short lifespan, typically only five to six years, a brief moment in the animal kingdom's grand tapestry. Number 1. Asian Atlantis The Earth holds within its bounds remarkable structures that continue to perplex historians and capture our imaginations. Much like the enigmatic Easter Island heads and the enduring mystery of Stonehenge, a recent discovery promises to evoke the spirit of exploration. Scott C. Waring, a passionate Atlantis enthusiast and dedicated paranormal researcher, embarked on a quest to locate the legendary lost city. His quest led him to a massive S-shaped formation located just off the shores of Tutu Island. Waring posits the intriguing idea that this structure could potentially be Atlantis, primarily because it aligns with Plato's description of the city, which was reputed to be surrounded by formidable walls. According to Plato's account, Atlantis engaged in a catastrophic conflict with Greece, resulting in divine punishment that caused the city to sink beneath the waves. However, while Waring's initial quest was to uncover Atlantis, he remains open to considering alternative explanations. Given the considerable distance from Greece, some conjecture that this city might not have met its submerged fate at the hands of Zeus, but instead could have been erected by ancient extraterrestrial beings, which explanation holds the most merit. Well, you have the opportunity to delve into this captivating discovery firsthand by using Google Earth, a cutting-edge satellite camera system renowned for providing reliable data. The truth may await your exploration, eager to be unveiled. And there you have it, folks. The 20 strangest things recently discovered in Japan. From ancient enigmas to cutting-edge innovations, Japan never ceases to astonish. Share your thoughts on these remarkable finds and keep your sense of wonder alive. Until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.